Hey guys, it's Coach Nick, and in this video we are covering defensive stance. To get into defensive stance, you want to squat down about halfway with your feet spread apart a decent distance, a little greater than shoulder width. You want the weight of your body on the balls of your feet. Your heels should never touch the ground because this limits the quickness of your feet. Your hands should be in one of two places, either one hand up and one hand down, or both hands up near your head. Never under any circumstance should your hands be by your sides. The one hand down, one hand up stance is great for when the defender is dribbling the ball. The bottom hand is looking to steal the crossover and the top hand is looking to deflect the pass. This is my favorite stance because it's very active and you can put a lot of pressure on the ball handler using the bottom hand. The both hands up stance is great for deflecting passes. This is the stance I use when the opponent is in triple threat or when I'm defending the post or if I've just closed out on a player on the three point line. As soon as the player dribbles the basketball, however, I immediately switch to the one hand down, one hand up stance. The both hands up stance is also good for defenses playing zone defense. If you're a coach, the next time your team plays a zone defense, say like a 2-3 zone or whatever, try having all your players use the both hands up stance all the time, no matter what. All the, their hands are always going to be up in the air, okay? You'll be amazed at how much space is covered using this stance and how many passes are deflected when all your players have their hands up. When it comes to moving in defensive stance, watch how my feet never touch. You want to make short but quick movements with your feet. This allows you to change directions quickly and prevents you from tripping over yourself, which can be pretty freaking embarrassing. If you've ever watched Olympic fencing, you'll notice that fencers have very quick, short, and explosive movements. These guys have some of the most explosive lateral movements you'll ever see. Watch the fencer here on the left. Notice how as he retreats, his feet never touch. He moves in such a manner because it allows him to change direction, directions very quickly. In basketball defensive stance, this is what we try to replicate. We want to be prepared to change directions when need be and to force the offensive player to certain parts of the court. This stance is perfect for that. I'm Coach Nick. Thanks for watching. If there's a particular technique you'd like to see or have a question about the game of basketball, leave it in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs this video up. And remember, when you're not practicing, someone else is.